Okay, we are back at it with the uh, Sith armor build. From the last point, I'd done some gluing, but there was still a whole lot of assembly to do on the parts that I'd done. All right, at this point, we've taken all the, the, the clamps off, all the rubber bands off. I decided not to glue this shoulder panel on. And as you can see with all these Chicago screws, screws in place, it's uh, not going to go anywhere. I mean, you've got 12 Chicago screws on both sides holding it in place. Now, once this is all painted, these won't be quite so uh, bright. <laughs> but, let me move over to the bracers. Again, same idea. I took all the banding off and the clamps and went in with Chicago screws again. These are basically done except for the filler for the underside, which I still have to construct. But we have some serious progress. All right, as you can see, I've now got the bracers closed off. What this is, and here's well on the right side bracer. What this is, is two layers of EVA craft foam. The top layer, I went in with my soldering iron and drew in the pad lines give it some detail and once I did that I went in hot glued layer one to layer two and then again with the hot glue I went in and glued both pieces to their respective bracers there is enough room like this to get my thumbs in and out so I am not worried about making this have to open and close. Very productive day. All right, before I go back to work on the legs, I figured just for fun, I'd do a little side-by-side -side comparison work. This is the current chest piece with the angled neck and all central construction. This is the original chest piece. EVA foam with centerpiece that actually sat about here when I was wearing it. As you can see they're about the same width but all in all I much prefer the look of that one. Now where the big difference comes in <laughs> who am I kidding? that's a big difference but another big difference lies here in the new versus old bracers now here you know, I've got the pieces that played across the backs of my hands which are being replaced by these wonderful gloves I found and you know much better surface detail work much better looking surface detail as far as I'm concerned. But in defense of these and the chest piece, these represent my very first attempts at creating cosplay armor of any kind. Whereas these, I've learned a lot more and put what I learned to use. But with that shown, we'll get back to uh, production on the new versions. All right, now we're hard at work on the leg pieces. Got them shaped a little better than I had them previously, which is good. As you can see, I've drawn the center line on both to line up the front detail pieces. Like I did with the bracers, I've gone in, made a template, 
multi-segment to give a similar detail to the front of the boots. Still have to figure out what I want to do with the backs, but I do know I'm going to need to get set up clasps for these. Working right along. All right. I took the template that I drew up on the construction paper for the leg pieces. Cut it into the individual segments, just like I did for the arms. And then I transferred that to the 8th inch Sintra. And what you've got here are the completed detail plates for the front of both boots. Oop. No, that was right. Next up for these will be heat forming and then mounting them to the fronts of the leg pieces. And to finish out what's been a fairly productive day, I've gone in and heat formed the front plates for the leg pieces. I have marked inside them which side is which to avoid any part future confusion. And of course numbered them in sequence especially so in the middle ones I get them you know like the fact I've got those out of order so that when I mount them they'll sync up on the boot properly. All in all, at the end of a fairly productive day. Alright, while it may not look like I've done much, what I have done is I've gone in, trimmed a bit off each of the main boot pieces to make it so they'll go on a little easier. I have also gone in and with some webbing, hot glued it to the, set, the number two piece for both legs as well as on all four corners of the number four piece for both legs. Now what will happen here is once I get these all glued into place on the main forms, I'll go in drill out the holes for more Chicago screws because that's how the three and one pieces are going to get are going to get mounted and then I'll separate at about the middle and uh, install buckles may not look like much but we are getting there All right, picking up where we left off, as you can see, I've got the four, three, and two panels in place on both legs. Got the second panel being glued in using the E6000. I glued the third panel, the, the number three panel on, but at the same time went ahead and screwed it down since we didn't have the strapping to deal with. That and my clamps wouldn't really reach down into here. Chicago screws are in place on the three and four panels for both pieces. Once I get all the detail pieces in place, I'll worry about getting the straps set up and we'll keep moving. <laughs> 